is extremely cute. And I saw at least three different out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. What just so, happened? An owl just flew and landed right in front of us. That's Yeah, like, I keeps, got him flying. It's happening to me. Like it's like the best day ever. Like I'm just lucky. Like owls love me. I have been married to that girl for 27 years. And honestly, I can say that I love her more today than ever before. Hang on, listen. This is not some corny marriage advice video. If you need marriage advice, you might want to seek out a professional. On the contrary, this is a story about marriage, photography, and a 35mm. Let's start with the 35mm. A lens company reached out to me and asked if I would review one of their lenses. Here's the deal. I don't get paid, no affiliate links, and I get to say what I want. The company is Viltrox, and they sent me a 35mm 1.8 specifically designed for the Nikon Z system. Look, this will only take a couple of minutes, and trust me, it's worth the watch. Now, I must admit, I put this camera through my personal paces. I didn't tailor this review to what I think you want to see, but rather, I used the lens how I typically use my small prime lenses. The lens goes on the camera when I want to capture landscapes and cool shots of the truck. I even threw the camera on the DJI gimbal and did some B-roll to check video autofocus. Hey look, not bad. Not bad at all. The one thing that bugged me was the dumb aperture ring. Senseless in my opinion. I kept bumping it out of auto mode which prevented me from adjusting the aperture in camera. That's a minor aggravation. What can I say? The lens? It did well. I can't imagine that my images with the native 35mm would be twice as sharp. I compared some images to the 20mm 1.8 and other than focal length, the images looked about the same. They both made my truck look pretty cool. Hey, here's the bottom line. The new Nikon 35mm 1.8 is $850. Yeah, $850. In contrast, the Viltrox lens is only $399. That's less than half the price. So, 95% of the performance at 50% of the cost. And here's the thing, it feels like a Nikon lens. So in conclusion, if you're looking for an inexpensive 35mm 1.8 that gets the job done with quick autofocus and great color rendering, just go with the Viltrox 35mm 1.8. Now about marriage and photography. Nearly 25 years ago, Katie and I took up bird watching. Perfect hobby considering Katie loves cute things and there aren't many things cuter than squirrels and birds. Not only does she like cute critters, she's also an expert at identifying species. Somebody's plane. It's a plane. <laughs> See what I mean? Nailed it. Katie is also a master tracker. She can spot animal tracks from yards away. And she's not afraid to dive off the trail to further investigate. That big. What has a foot that big? I don't know why you would want to, but. Katie thinks she found the bobcat. Additionally, spotting owls is somewhat of a specialty, especially owls tucked into the trees with their butts turned to us. Hey, if you can't tell, I'm Katie's biggest fan, which, in my opinion, is the way it should be. We're good for each other. We're always encouraging one another and not afraid to laugh at ourselves. <laughs> you do it. You do it. What the heck? Natural. Four. A natural Four. rock skipper. Okay, look, I hear myself. It almost sounds like I'm bragging. Well, yeah, to be honest, I guess I am. 
The one part of my life that I'm most proud of is my life with Katie. Anyone that has been married for any length of time can tell you that there is nothing that has a more profound effect on you as the quality of your relationship with your spouse. We recognized that early in life and committed to making our relationship priority one. Has it always been easy? Well, look, you know the answer to that. But anything worth having takes work, and relationships are no different. We continually seek ways to build value in each other. We habitually reinforce in one another the good traits while speaking honestly about behaviors that may need a little bit of work. And to be fair, no one needs more work than me. We are always by each other's side, encouraging and inspiring one another to be better. I encourage her to find cute things and she encourages me to photograph them. That's a win-win. So on another note, there is a healthy dose of jealousy in our relationship. Hang on, let me explain. If I see something cool and she wasn't there to see it with me, well, you better believe we'll be back out there the next day to see it together. It's as if to say that if we didn't experience it together, it didn't happen at all. We're always seeking out new adventures. What's next? What more does this beautiful world have to offer? And this is where the camera gear comes in. How can we capture that moment in such a way that preserves those wonderful feelings? Sometimes I believe the only reason Katie has indulged me in this incredibly expensive hobby is because I capture the moments that she loves to remember. And there's nothing quite so special as when we get to experience those moments together, simultaneously. So yes, I spend too much money on camera gear and some may say we spend too much time out in the field looking for birds. But the rewards are immeasurable. How do you quantify those moments? Let's be real. There is nothing I enjoy more than seeing the awe in Katie's face. So here's to my birding buddy and life partner. We really do get to witness some amazing moments. And it's always great to hear Katie's side of the story. So Katie, tell me about your day. Um, like the whole day from when I woke up at 8.37 a.m. We went to Barber Park and we saw the, a ton of birds. Lots, tons of we stuff. We saw tons of stuff there and then we went home and put on some warmer socks because my feet were cold. We, I saw at least four different great gray owls. One was definitely a juvenile and it was extremely cute. And I saw at least three different owls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. What just like, happened? An owl just flew and landed right in front of us that's yeah like, I got him flying it's happening to me like it's like the best day ever like I'm just lucky like owls love me I got the video of them flying they, right behind they keep you coming right to me and staring me down and like it's like they want me to hug them or something I don't know but <coughs> I saw at least three different owls eat three different mice in one gulp in the last 30 minutes that's awesome I love you
Thanks for doing this with me. I love you too. Can I buy a 400 millimeter 2.8? What?